I'm going to show you how to do a tutorial for stratified sampling. First of all, you need something to do a sample of. So, what do what food people prefer in a school? Because you won't have time to interview everybody around the school, you might as well just choose a sample. But as you can see, you can't really choose a, a fair number, as some new groups have a lot more than others. So, first of all, what you need to do is work out how many people in the whole population of the school. This is 1,450. To work out the size for each year group, for example, you have to do the number of the people in the year group divided by 1,150 and times by the sample size, which is 50. So we'll start off doing 203 divided by 1,450 times 50. We get 7. So our sample size for year 7 is 7. For year 8, we do 323 divided by 1450 and times that by 50. This time we get 11.14, which will round down to 11 as you cannot have point something of a person. So the sample size for year 8 is 11. So currently those two make 18, so we're 18 out of the sample size. And next, we do 293, divided by 1450, and then times that by 50. Again we get a decimal of the answer 10.10, .10. and again I'll round that down to 10 as it's not above 0.5 for the decimal. So we'll write that as 10, and we're currently on 28. So it'll be the matter of 22 out of the last two. So next, we do 367 divided by 1450 and times it by a sample size 50. And we get the answer 12.66, which I'll round up, as you can tell 6 is above 5, so we'll round that up to 13. Now, this is, now becomes 41, so we know this will be 9, but just to double check, we can do 264 divided by 1450 times 50 and we get the answer 9.10 which I'll round down to 9 so then that's definitely right 9 which means we get to 50 in the sample size so what they would do is ask 7 people from year 7 11 from year 8 10 from year 9 13 from year 10 and 9 from year 11 and that's just how to do a certified sample